This video is for the burner removal and inspection of the heat exchanger for the Magnetherm fire tube boilers. Tools needed. Open-ended wrenches and socket sizes for 5 16 inch, half inch, and 9 16 inch, and a torque wrench. For parts, it is recommended that you have the igniter, flame rod, and burner gaskets. The part numbers are listed in your installation and operating manual. With the side panels and the top panel removed, then remove the top cross member for better access. Remove the bolts on the mounting brackets of the air plenum. Remove the intake vent transition assembly. Remove the blower transition assembly. Be careful with these gaskets. If you don't already have them, they might need to be reused and you will have to order them. Disconnect the igniter and the flame sensor. Remove them carefully. If any of the gaskets are damaged, they will need to be replaced. A gentle turn is needed. Remove the burner plate. Remove the older gaskets and inspect them. Lift the burner upward and out from the combustion chamber. Replace these gaskets if they are damaged. Be careful that nothing drops into the burner chamber. Loosen the bolts on the edge of the heat exchanger cover plate and move them aside. Before removing the heat exchanger cover plate and refractory assembly, mark the plate at its center line with the back face of the cabinet for reassembly reference. Lift the cover plate and refractory assembly carefully upward and off of the heat exchanger. The refractories can be removed by using channel locks to turn the anchors 90 degrees on their pins. Inspect and clean the heat exchanger. If cleaning, use only water, rags, and non-metallic brushes. Follow the maintenance instructions in the installation and operating manual. Reassemble in the same order of steps, but reversed. We're going to start tightening at this bolt where the smaller gaskets are. Tighten in a triangle pattern. Start with this one and then these two here. So we'll tighten at multiple different points and always in a triangle pattern relative to each other. Here we're showing the torque wrench set to 200 pounds of torque. Continue with the rest of the reassembly.
If you have any questions, please call or text support at 1-800-900-9276.